Today is a very special day because I'm doing my last room makeover while I live in Austin, Texas. I never actually redid my room since I lived here and I've decided, okay, I have to do it because why not, you know? For this makeover, I wanted it to be entirely different from what I've previously done. So in today's video, I'm going to be making kind of a bohemian, whimsical, fairy, aesthetic, Pinterest-inspired bedroom. Overall, for this room, my inspiration was to have a space that kind of felt like I was outside while being inside. I really wanted to bring nature into the room. I wanted the space to feel relaxing, a place that felt like a magical getaway and somewhere where I could read and also be creative. My inspiration was making sure that each section of the room was picture worthy. Kind of like a art pop-up, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted each spot, each space to feel like its own complete thing, but I also wanted the entire room to feel cohesive as well. A lot of the items I will be putting in this room are items I already owned that have been stored away and if you are interested in seeing the exact items that I have, I'll link any of those below that I can find. So now that you know what I'm going to be doing today, get ready for uh, a crazy makeover because this one took forever. So I hope you enjoy. This is the space I'm working with. It's about 10 feet by 13 feet, a lot bigger than my last room makeover. So I feel like I have a lot of space to work with here. The first thing I had to do was build my bed frame so that way I could figure out the layout of the room. Now this was really hard because I'm the type of person that values my floor space over a room looking symmetrical, but with this room, the most ideal spot for the bed ended up being the center of it, but it also gave me more opportunity to do something with the other corners of the room. So once I placed the bed, I also placed all the large furniture pieces in their dedicated spots that I would be designing everything around. I took my rug that was in my living room and I decided to put it in the bedroom instead. I got this rug from Wayfair, absolutely love it, but it is small for this space, so I put it at an angle to make it look bigger. Then I added in this tiny bar stool that I got from Ross for $50. I'm not entirely sure if I'll keep it. It is really cool though. And I put a Himalayan salt lamp on top of it. And these give off such amazing light without looking like a typical lamp. I love doing DIYs. I love doing things cheap. I love doing things myself. So it was really important to me that I went to the dollar store to see what they had and what I could use in my room. I got some frames. One of them I intend to spray paint. I also got a few other things I'm going to spray paint as well, like these gold mirrors, which I thought looked really cool. And in order to spray paint them, I just popped out the mirror from the back, but it didn't work on all of them. So one of them, I did have to tape it off. To spray paint these items, I used a paint and primer, metallic gold spray paint by Krylon. And after about an hour of letting them dry, I was able to age them with some acrylic paint. I just used a normal brown acrylic and I watered it down and using a sponge, I dabbed it on and removed the excess with a clean rag. And this isn't a process you have to do. It's not a must. It just depends how you want it to look, but I don't love it when it looks super shiny after I spray paint it, which is why I go through this process. Once I was done painting it, I sealed off my pieces with a sealant spray, and now it was time to glue the mirrors back in. I used E6000 glue. I use this for everything. Thank you. 
And once they were all done, this is what they looked like. My reading corner, I wanted it to feel like a little, kind of like a treehouse vibe, but an overgrown treehouse. <laughs> Now for the hardest part of this entire video, which was installing these vines. It was mostly just hard on my neck looking up for a long period of time. I think this took me a couple hours to do. And I just used some clear tape to apply this to my wall instead of tacks. I actually really like the way the clear tape looks as opposed to using tacks in my opinion, but maybe that's just because I don't wanna put holes in my wall. After I applied most of them, I decided to make them look more attached to the wall by taping them down even more. Normally when I do them, I just let them hang, but after looking up photos of vines, I realized that the way I was doing it, letting them hang, didn't look as realistic as they could. So yeah, this is how it ended up looking. Because I was putting curtains in front of my window, it was really important to also have curtains covering my blinds. Blinds are ugly. Let's just accept that fact. So what I did was I used one of my leftover curtains that I was actually getting rid of from the same batch I used for my canopy. And I put a string through the curtain and I tied it over top of my blinds. It was a really easy DIY, great way to cover it up. And for my other window treatment, I put up some curtains as well. I thrifted this curtain and I only got one of them, so I cut it in half to make two. I didn't really care that it wasn't going to be super full. It was kind of just to give the room more ambiance, I suppose. Then I ran the curtain on the curtain rod and accidentally ripped it because this is probably a vintage piece, I would assume. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay that there's holes. It's still doable. So I continued to put it on and then eventually I got it up on my window. And because I wasn't putting any more holes in my walls, I just attached the hooks for this in between the blinds and the top of the window. And although you're supposed to put curtains higher up on your wall, I thought this was the better option because it required no nails. Because the bed was kind of in the center of the room, I knew that the bed had to be a focal point. And because my bed does not have a headboard, I wanted to create one. So because I was trying to avoid going out and purchasing brand new items just to make this room, I decided to use some sheer curtains that I was planning on getting rid of because they're too short for my windows. But I still had them luckily, and now I get to repurpose them and make them into a really cool drape headboard. So using two of the curtains, I just pinned the tops of them together like this. and this is going to be the top of the canopy. I found out while I was in the middle of creating this that I'm actually allowed to put holes in the wall of my apartment and I don't have to repaint. Besides that, everything that you see in this space is taped up with alien tape, my favorite thing. I talk about it all the time. I mean, if I don't have to put holes in the wall, I would rather not. So I used my first ever nail in any of my makeover videos <laughs> for the top of this canopy. And all I did was attach the safety pin to a cup hook that I screwed into the wall. And I chose to use a cup hook specifically because I was going to be adding a lot of weight to this and a lot of fabric. When it comes to the lighting, I did not want to use the overhead fan lighting in this room because it's not great. I mean, overhead lighting kind of sucks. My favorite type of lighting is lamps like this, candles, and now LEDs. So I bought some more LEDs and my idea was to kind of create stars within the vines in my reading corner. 
and then also light up my canopy. To make the canopy even more special, I wanted to backlight it with some LEDs that I got from Amazon. I think these were $15 for 30 feet, and they have multiple different modes. They are seriously <laughs> the best lights. And when I imagined a whimsical, relaxing, creative space, I knew these lights had to be a part of it. Now using some safety pins and my handy dandy alien tape, which you guys see in every video, I use this stuff religiously. I'll link it below. Anyways, I am just taking the corner of my curtain and taping it to the wall to make it look like a waterfall drape. Because these are short curtains, I knew I would have to add more. Taking the other set of short curtains I was going to get rid of, I just ran a string through the top of it and I tied the string together, attached a safety pin, and then put my alien tape to the safety pin. Because if you're going to use alien tape, you can't just put it on fabric. It needs to adhere to something more sturdy, like metal. Using the alien tape and my safety pin, I'm just going to put that curtain right onto the wall and it holds like magic. And the whole point in adding two layers of curtains is because it just wasn't long enough and I wanted it to look more luxurious than what it did with one. And the cool thing about adding two is that since it reaches past the floor, it covers all of my cables next to my bed. This is what the right side looks like done. And now it's time to add those LEDs. And I applied them as if they were outlining the curtain. So that way it looked symmetrical on both sides. Then to cover up my safety pin from my first set of curtains, I just put this ribbon that I use in my hair around it and I put a fake flower in it as well. And this is what it looked like. Next, it was time to add some plants. So I got these two from Ikea, the pot and the plant itself. This is one of my favorite plants ever. I got this one from Hobby Lobby for 60 cents because it was broken. I got this one from Ikea and this was a normal pot that I put clay on the outside of and cracked and aged myself. This is also just another normal pot from Lowe's along with my Ikea plant. And my plan was to keep them in front of the window because I'm not bringing in any extra furniture to just put plants on. So I thought the window was fine. For my side table slash bookshelf, I added this little piece of furniture that I made from galvanized steel pipes and pine wood. And on the shelves, I put books I am currently reading along with books that are along with the color scheme I was going for, which was green. Now it's time to make my DIY portrait wall. This is something I think I've done in every makeover because it's affordable, easy, and easy to store. So using the frames I got from the 99 cent store, along with a water damaged book of photography in Ireland, I'm going to cut out some images that I feel fit the theme of my room, which is nature. I tried to find every green photo in this book. I do wish that the photos weren't as vibrant because that's not exactly what I was going for, but because that's all I had. I decided that the little corner with my Himalayan salt lamp would be the colorful corner of my room since everything else was consisting of just green and white. After I cut out all of my images, I laid them out just to see what I was working with and how they might be arranged on the wall. Because I'm taping all of my pictures on the wall, I did not find it necessary to actually plan everything. I see a lot of people do that. I didn't want it to feel planned. I wanted it to feel like it was very sporadic. So I laid all my pictures on my bed and I just put them on the wall in any way that felt right at that moment. 
I also added some extra things in there like this hand mirror that I got from the 99 cent store that I hand painted along with some fake flowers that I tied a ribbon around and this little teaspoon that has this beautiful nature detail on it and I thought it was so cute. Welcome to, I don't know why I just said welcome. We are three days in to redoing this mi <laughs> Last night while I was sleeping, the mirrors that I put up fell off the wall. And I was like, maybe it's a sign. Maybe they're not supposed to go there. I really wanted my easel to be set up in the corner because I wanted this to feel like a creative space and a space I could also read in. But of course, if I'm going to set up the easel, I have to have my paint supplies, but I didn't want to bring more furniture into the room because the room is not super big. And I, again, value my floor space. I opted for putting all of my art supplies on the wall along with some little mini paintings that I've already done. Using these sticky hooks that I got from the 99 cent store, I applied them to my wall and I attached all my paints to it. Now this I did plan out strategically because I wanted to make sure that it looked symmetrical and even. So yeah, I laid everything out on the floor, at least all of my paints. I laid them out on the floor and a pretty design that I thought would look really good placed on the wall behind my canvas. Once it was done, it looked really pretty, but I felt like there was still something missing. So using these little mini tiles that I painted, I decided to organize them and place them behind my canvas on my wall. I felt like having one big space painting was out of place and that if I was going to do space, I needed to have a dedicated corner for it. And in the end, I thought this turned out beautifully and it worked out really well. Now that the hard part is kind of done, it's time to add more decor and trinkets around my room. I brought in this lamp I thrifted a long time ago for $15, along with some little glass bottles that I thrifted. I thought these resembled potion bottles a little bit, a crystal, and this container I got from the 99 cent store that I spray painted gold on top and I just put all my crystals inside of it to display them on my windowsill. And because my gold framed mirrors fell from the other wall, I decided to put them next to my reading chair. I also went back and added more books because I felt like the one stack of books wasn't enough and I wanted to display some plants on them. I've seen lots of room makeovers where it's very eclectic and there's so much texture and so many patterns going on in the room. It just kind of takes away from the beauty of it. So I wanted to make sure that I kept my bed as simple and plain as possible. For my bed sheets, I went with a simple cream duvet set and I also added some accent pillows. I got both the pillowcase and filler from Ikea and the log pillow I got from eBay a long time ago. For the last wall, I decided to keep it simple and just add a couple of book pages, tape on some artificial flowers I got from the 99 cent store. I also put my real plant here as well, just hanging it from the blind track and I put some fake flowers there too. Finally, for the finishing touches of the room, I added these fake flowers that I got from Amazon and there's a name for them. I totally forget what it is. I will link everything below though, but these alone could have made the space without everything else I added. They were so beautiful. Thank you. 
And with that, this was the last thing that I added to my room. So it's time to move on into the final reveal of the makeover. So the area with my portrait wall ended up feeling very bohemian. I think it was a mixture of the photos, the salt lamp, and the single monstera leaf that I put in this pot. And I also hid all of my personal items in this basket under my bed. On top of the wood side table, I put this little gold leaf trinket dish. And then the art corner definitely felt more put together once I added all the mini space paintings around it. It really just felt like this creative corner where I could look out the windows and also create. And putting all the paints on the wall definitely helped make more space in my room. And since there was a lot of things going on in this room, I tried to organize everything by making it look more symmetrical so that way it didn't feel as cluttered. My reading corner really came together once I added these mirrors. I think it's because it added a pop of color with the yellow chair that was already there. And also adding this vintage lamp gave off the best light at nighttime because of the shadows that the vines created on the walls. And I couldn't be happier with all of the flowers that hang above me when I sit in this corner. It just feels so magical. comes to ambiance, lighting is everything. The room looks so nice during the day, but at night the lighting makes it transform into a magical oasis. I ended up putting my star projector in my room as well to add even more to the space and it makes me feel like I am a fairy in a woodland hideout. And the LEDs and the vines was a last minute decision, but I do think it gives a look of twinkling stars in the sky. The cool thing about these LEDs is that I can change the color of the canopy and the stars separately. So every time I change the color, it's a totally different vibe. If you're the type of person who likes change often, then these lights are a must for your room. I also made this room after seeing Avatar and I set my lights to different shades of blue and I turned off my stars and holy crap, it looked like Pandora. The thing about having multiple sources of light in a room is that you have lots of options when it comes to changing the vibe of your space. Even with just the salt lamp on, it's a mood. I could not be happier with how this room turned out. I think my favorite part of the entire room would have to be the bed canopy. I think that doing like a DIY canopy was such a unique way to give myself a headboard that I didn't have. And it looks very whimsical, looks very magical. I also really love this reading corner. It's exactly how I imagined it would be. And I love that when I look up towards the ceiling, I have all these hanging flowers around me and it feels very, beautiful and it feels very much like I am outside. Well, anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me while I did this room makeover. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas for your own space. And let me know, what do you consider this? Is this bohemian? Is it whimsical? Is it fairy? What, what would you call this? Because in my head, it's very much Pinterest inspired and it's very much aesthetic boho but i'm really not entirely sure i don't know let me know and comment below what type of room makeover you would like to see from me in the future because i am going to be moving again which means i can do another room makeover multiple and i'm so excited for that so i would love to hear any ideas that you guys have thanks so much for hanging out with me thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one